thing from my, you know, Devika Sequera. All of them are very conversant. So, so Lisa Dias Norona, no relation of mine, is protesting. But she's been telling me this very interesting story of uh, Green Rosary School in uh, Donna Paul Karanzale. How did it come about, Lisa? That's interesting. Uh, I think we need to capture it. If yeah. You don't mind. So, but you ask others also. I will give you names of people. This you is your version. Enjoy. Yes. This is my version. I was in Standard Two in Mary Macleod. We lived in Kampal in one of Dr. Jack Sequeira's houses. My father was the judge in Penjim. And uh, so uh, there were three teachers. Yeah, I will start with my relative, uh, Nelita Rosita da Costa. No, what stage was the school in before you? It was, uh, it was just a, a center for uh, fisher folk women. Uh, the wives of, and uh, the girls, they used to be taught embroidery by a nun from Portugal. Yeah, they used to do... Portugal or Brazil? No, the nun was from Portugal and she used to do excellent embroidery and she used to teach them. It was like a... a vocational. Vocational uh, thing. This is, this is 60s, 65, This is, 66. Uh, yeah, must have been like 65 Few years after the transition. Yeah. And so then my aunt uh, said to my father, you put your three daughters there, three daughters who were still school going, so I joined in in standard three, my other sister must have joined in standard five and then the other one in seven. And uh, two of them finished from green rosary, I did not finish. I finished, uh, I left when I was in the sixth, I went to a boarding school. But what I want to tell you about that is was Nelita, Nelita Rosita. The Costa is my aunt. So yeah. you're saying these three people virtually propped up the school yeah. and pushed it. Yeah, yeah, Who yeah. are the three? Who are the so three? So that is uh, Nelly the, uh, Nelly, uh, Nelly uh, the Costa, then Marion de Souza, that is Peter Ronald, Professor Peter Ronald's mother, and uh, there is uh, 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 Sophie Montero, who is Dr. Nandita's mother. Brigadier Montero's Brigadier, uh, yeah. Widow. So uh, the these are ex Africa, ex Bombay, what? No, no, they were not ex Africa. They were just, uh, they must have been uh, edu all educated out of the English, Goa, English, English educated. medium, yeah. They all spoke very good English, naturally. And there was Mother Isabelina, who was the, uh, the Reverend Mother of that order. I forget the order. Uh, same order as is present now. And she uh, had come from Brazil. She was very charming and she was able to get many young girls and she used to go to really? the parents and talk to them and then these three go and teachers who supported and so yeah. on and so forth and so i wanted to say that my classroom yes. i remember in grade three it was an orphanage also for some reason it was some kind of an orphanage and they had tables that were square uh, and four kids used to sit and have their meals there and daytime we used to have our classrooms in that refectory I see. Yeah, so that was my standard three. Some other class, then we moved to standard four. My classroom was in the veranda and I remember the rain would come in and then we would say, teacher, book is wet. <laughs> and then, you know, this kind of a thing. So we it was just a scratch starting. Teachers. Who were your teachers? We had really excellent teachers, I must tell you. Miss Xenia and I, oh gosh. Xenia who? I think Xenia, this was one was from Kanigini, I think Xenia was from Kanigini. Kanigini, that's a back up beyond yeah, the end yeah. of Pepe Taluka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, there were excellent teachers over there, all wanting to bring up the school. We had our sports day. Our sports day used to be on the beach. I see. So, we used to run on sand 100 meters. To whatever. Goan girls were not so uh, handicapped as other parts of South Asia, India in that sense. Eh? What do you mean? Handicap? No, no, I mean like they were not looked down upon or treated as second, for, as far as education at least, no, in those years. Saying. No, no, absolutely. Education was taken very seriously for girls also, no? Yeah, was taken very seriously for girls. And uh, we all strived, everyone who was present in that school at that time, everyone worked hard to bring the name of Green uh, Rosary Convent. Uh, it was not called Green Rosary, it was called Rosary Convent. Okay. Up. It came up to a very big standard and uh, then of course, uh, I don't know when they moved to Donna Paula, they secured the property and then it became green and red. Yeah, because there is that. a red rosary, yeah. they call it green rosary. Yeah, so that was, our uniform was green skirt, checkered skirt, white blouse, green tie. Proud to wear that. Yeah. And you saw it grow from a seed, small seed? Yes, no, I'm telling you, yeah. I was in standard three till standard six. Others have passed on. Now you may want to interview, I'll tell you who. Judy, 
Judy De uh, Judy De Souza. She was married to a Barreto, Edwin Barreto. Now yeah. she's married to is Judy. You may want from where? From Salset. No, Judy. Ah. V. Paul De Souza. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then you may want to in, uh, interview my own sister, Pramila uh, Dias Fernandez. Senior to you? you? Yeah, my senior, senior to me by six years or so. She lives in Gitanjali building. You may want to interview my sister, Thelma uh, Dias, who is in Sukor. You may want to interview Devika Sequera, who left with me to Panchkini. But her older sister, Indira, passed out from Green Rose, from Rosary Convent. And there was uh, Camila Pinto, Engineer Pinto from Kampal. Uh, they, uh, uh, she, I don't know where she is. Captain right sister, now. captain sister. Captain sister, sister yes. And uh, there were many, many others who were over there. Which years you're talking about? Yeah, I'm saying like it must have been uh, 65, 66, no? Those years. Historic years, no? We yeah, didn't realize how much years. change was happening right yeah, below our noses. noses. Yeah, So it was uh, interesting, very interesting. So. Basically, what I want to say is that I, there was no shortfall for a schooling. We thought, ah, you know, a school, but it was a challenge to bring up that school. And it came up. And it came up to what it is uh, now. Amazing. Yeah, it came up. So that's it. But you should interview others, and you will get. Every a school has its own story. Yeah, interview others, and you get. I also good. did uh, Chikali recently. Uh, you know, this uh, brothers. Ah, okay. Yeah, of Chikali. Yeah. Recently, yeah. Uh, Regina Mundi. Regina okay. Mundi. Then I went to Panchkini. Fantastic school. Fantastic time. Then I came back again and I did one year, three months in New Goa High School. I told my father, I don't want any more convent schools now. I, I want see. to go to a totally different one. Again, excellent school. I haven't had a better uh, principal as Miss, late Mr. Amunkar and Mrs. Amunkar. Suresh as Amunkar. Amunkar. Suresh Amunkar. He was just an amazing poetry teacher as well as geography. And he I, is Africa returned also, no? Yes, he is one Africa returned. Yeah. Yeah. So I, those, that one year, three months was just amazing with him. I see. Yeah. I can tell you. Culturally, think, quite a shift, no? Quite yeah. a shift because it's So a once we were having, the, uh, all my classmates and myself, we were having some kind of an argument and all that. And uh, somebody said, no, the army, I can't, no, we will not listen. And so he passed by and he saw that there was some turmoil in the yeah. class. So he called, he says, somebody from the class should come. So they told me, you go. So I went and he asked me, what is the issue? I said, the issue is this. Yeah, we want our teachers to, uh, as much as you want us to respect you all, we want you all also to respect us in return. And he said, done. I see. <laughs> he said, done. Thereafter, we had a super relationship with everyone. There was no teacher I and see. student relationship. Uh, Who are the teachers June, you remember from there? June is uh, Dr. Bonnie's elder sister. Fantastic. She was our class teacher. Then we had Aurio and Romero, super teachers, Aurio and Romero. And, Aurio, uh, his surname is? Uh, Aurio. He was prominent, very prominent. He, they were in Mapsa, no, based. Yeah. Aurio and Romero, very good teachers in science. We had Mr. Amankar himself. Yeah. Uh, excellent teacher so much so that he uh, ingrained in us the concept of geography so when I went to Vienna I used to merrily teach geography over there and they asked me if I had a call had studied it at university I see and had a, yeah so deep I see that was the thing the so, people of that era were really something yeah and poetry they took, poetry was they took very life very seriously and they loved their work yeah, yeah. It wasn't just a job. It wasn't just a and job. And he did it for little or nothing, no? Yeah, absolutely. I, I struggled. So I have very good memories of New Goa High School, also very good classmates in Mapsa, all of them. I still keep in touch with many of them. I see. And uh, uh, I, I tell you, I, I never regret having uh, here, and some people say, oh, you know, that you should go in those schools. Are elite, out schools. And elite schools. Elite schools. Nothing. You, Nothing. It school, depends on you. You, you make it. Just, yeah, it depends you make it. on you. You make it. Yeah. So I spoke so highly of my new Goa High School, for example, as well as Panchkani and all that. 
I told my Austrian friends, so they came to visit her, they came with me. So they said, oh, Mapsa, she said, you know, you told us you had gone to Mapsa for a school. I said, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I told Francis, who was driving our car, Francis, Mashe Mapsa, eh, New Goa, Dakwere. So we went up to New Goa and <laughs> I, very I, told, I told Mr. Amonkar this. Uh, yeah. I told him, you know, sir, I must tell you this episode. I told Gautam also his uh, Siddharth, son. Siddharth, his, his son. eldest son. After the funeral, I went to meet them and I said, see, I, I drove to the school and some, you know, it was not painted, the, some window panes were broken. And I was so disheartened because I had spoken so highly of my school. So, and I knew that because we had close friends in St. Britos, I said to uh, uh, Felix, Felix was a driver, Felix, Felix, Rao Tamna Kainga, Furemos, Tinga Furemos, Furem Britos, Uire was re. So, Zupkurun Bitots, don't let her read the St. Britos boys. That's spoke. very funny. That's so, very he drove, Zupkurun, he drove in, and I said, This is the school. And uh, Britos, of course, is always painted. And then she said, Oh, they good session, and all that, you know. And uh, then whilst coming out, she noticed boys. I, I know now they change it. I did boys. <laughs> I told this to Mr. Amun. Very Kai. funny, very funny. Yeah, Mr. Amun Kai said, yeah, yeah, that was a period of time we were just adjusting something. And your point on, on extracurricular activities helping you in life? Yes, my, I think that every student, and I still push everyone who comes through me to learn German, that you should participate in extracurricular activities because that is actually your connecting point to your your place where you stay, to your friends, to to just uh, to just enjoy everything. It doesn't matter what the curricular activities is, sports. So it helped you. It helped you in a big yeah, way. Sports, to adjust activity. when you went to Austria, when you came also, back to Goa. Even when I went to Austria, it helped me even more because then I had more areas to take interest in. Yeah. You know. So even here. So I I firmly say studies is just not everything you know studies is not everything it is the extra curricular activities that really help you out a lot to develop further development is on that field thanks yeah. atan i'm so glad <laughs>